Right, I'm Rita Garner and I started my working life as a community pharmacist in the private sector. I joined South Downs Health in 1992 and in that time I've managed many of the trust services. I've also worked in adult social care and a joint post in Brighton and Hove managing both the assessment and provider services. So why am I here today? I'm here because I believe that together we can make NHS community services even better. Sylvia is going to talk a bit about what it's like being in South Downs Health and about her service, District Nursing, because she's passionate about that. But to start, where's our thinking about what a new organisation would be like? And then I'll tell you a little bit about South Downs Health Services. Looking at what you do and what we do, what should our joint aspirations be for a new organisation? We should be employing some of the best professionals, healthcare professionals, in the country in a new organisation with a new name and a new identity. We should be a community foundation trust by 2012. We should be provide, providing the best possible care to the people of West Sussex and Brighton and Hove. We should provide improved career opportunities using best practice shared together not only in our frontline services but also in our back office functions so together we can innovate and improve the healthcare we provide. We will be an NHS organisation where all of us will continue to be employed by the NHS. And what won't we be? This will not be a takeover. This will be an organisation built on the best of West Sussex Health and South Downs Health. It won't be a large cumbersome organisation where decisions are made far from the front line. And it won't be an opportunity for Brighton Services to pinch money from West Sussex. We don't want to reduce the services that you provide, and in any case, that's not legal. So we come to you with the experience of sound financial management, so that a new organisation with a turnover of over £170 million will, will use proportionately more money on frontline services. We will be able to become a competitive, value-for-money NHS provider. We've both been through major changes. Yourselves, many small PCTs joining to one and then a provider arm. For ourselves, we've, we've passed the management of mental health services over to the Sussex Partnership Trust and joined <coughs> with Brighton and Hove City Council providing joint services. Through those changes, we've had a track record of working well with staff and with staff side. And we can see that we have a wealth of learning that together we can use to make this new organisation successful. So a bit about our services. Like yourself, South Downs Health is responsible for providing community services in people's homes or as close as possible to people's homes. Like yourselves, we provide a wide range of services. This means that you'll find South Downs Health staff on acute wards, as has been mentioned, working with people who have a newly acquired brain injury, or in the basements and bedsits of Brighton, working with people at the end of their lives because they choose to be at home, with their pets and with their comforts of home. We provide a range of services, many in multidisciplinary teams. Our staff walk the care pathways that we are developing together with our colleagues in primary care and the acute trust. They tell us that it's the consistency and continuity of community services that makes the outcomes possible for the people we provide services to. We have a good reputation for our community services. Since Best Care Best Place, we have developed services and are continuing to improve them in chronic respiratory disease, falls prevention, and most recently, health trainers. In Brighton and Hove, the children's services are provided by the Children and Young People's Trust. But we have an organisational memory and experience of pro providing children's services. And we still have Chaley Heritage. Now, we're particularly proud of Chaley Heritage because it's known nationally for assessing, treating, and providing care for children with complex disabilities. With Brighton and Hove Council, we provide care and support for people with HIV and AIDS, 
another service that has a very good reputation nationally amongst external agencies and NHS trusts alike. We have two other services that we provide jointly with Brighton and Hove City Council and those are the intermediate care services and the integrated community equipment services. So there's a little taste of what South Downs Health provides. We are at the heart of the communities we provide services to. Our services complement yours and our values mirror yours. We put patients' needs at the heart of everything we do and I believe that together we can do it even better. Now I hope you've realised that I'm a straight talker and therefore I'd like to be straight with you about our experience of the Healthcare Commission inspection last summer. I was personally involved. We failed on four of the five standards we were inspected on. That meant we went from a good to a weak rating. We believe we provide good services but we didn't have the evidence and we didn't take into consideration the robust regime that the Healthcare Commission now requires to demonstrate that. We have learnt so much. We are working very hard to ensure that we are gathering the evidence, that we have those processes, so that our services can demonstrate the quality of what they provide. Now through all this time, we haven't lost the link between the standards and quality and improvement. We do not want it to be a paper exercise. Many of you might have specific questions about services like the ones that you're in now, so we'll be very happy to answer those at the end on our stand. I'd like now to hand over to Sylvia, who's going to tell you about her services and what it's like to be in South Downs Health. Thank you. Hi, my name